Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm up at my treasure house, which is where I have one of my booths called Green Onion Vintage. I have some new things that I just brought in though, and I just priced it all, so I need to get it in my booth. So I'm gonna show you what my booth looks like real quick, add everything that I just brought in, and then I'll give you a look at how it is when it's done. And so here's a look at my booth before I put all the new stuff in. It's looking really great though. We still have this wash stand that my mom brought in a couple weeks ago and it's so cool. I love it for springtime. Um, that's a really fun display piece though. So I'm kind of glad that it's still here. We actually have space right now for another piece of furniture. Um, but it's also nice to have things cleaned out a little bit so that people can see a little bit better of what we have in here. Like before my blue dresser was pretty buried. So I'm hoping now that it's a little bit more exposed it will sell quickly. This is how it looks right now. I think it looks really great. Um, overall, I'm not gonna do a big rearrangement of anything. I'm just gonna be adding in the smalls that I brought today. The store actually looks great right now. I haven't been in here in quite a while and I'm actually working today, which I haven't done in over a year, maybe well over two years actually, since I had my baby, um, who's really not a baby anymore, but it looks good in here. There's new vendors that I haven't seen. Um, and just a reminder, if you wanna order Iron Orchid designs from my treasure house, I'll have the link down below. Um, I've featured them several times on my channel and Cindy is the name of the owner and she will ship anything that you want to you. She'll even order if you want something that's not in stock. You can add something to your wish list online and they also have an app. So I'll have all that information down below. If you're needing someone to purchase Iron Orchid designs from, these are all like the stamps here and then the transfers and stamps down there. Actually, that's just stamps and uh, molds. And then all the transfers are over here. So as you can see, they have a ton of inventory, lots to shop from, and they have a really good website where you can go and see everything else. Um, so I'm just kind of looking around the store real quick. If you haven't seen my channel before, I like to kind of give you an idea of the type of store that I'm in. My treasure house is definitely a mixture of antiques, um, new items, kind of like wholesale items. We even have candles, of course, iron orchid designs, general finishes paint and farmhouse paint too. Um, and then a lot of like handmade crafts. So we have a lot of artisans that are making their own, um, whether it be like sign hangings, um, home decor, and then a lot of refinished furniture. So a little bit of everything here, kind of see everything as I'm walking through. And like I said, a lot of new vendors. So if you haven't been here in a while, or even if you were here recently, you should always check by when you're in the area because things change around here really quickly. So here's everything that I'm bringing in today. Um, I will go ahead and run through each piece with you and just give you um, a bit of an idea of price and what I expect my profit to be. Most of this you guys have seen in my recent like yard sale hauls or DIY videos. So none of this is a real surprise to you guys, but you guys haven't heard prices before. So I'm going to go ahead and share that. This was a yard sale fund. I paid a dollar and I'm asking 10 for it. It's a really cool little hanger. And then this set of two enamel bowls, I paid $3 and I'm asking eight. This little dispenser here, I paid a dollar and I'm asking $8. This vase, which I believe is from Target originally was about $17. I paid $3 and I'm asking 12. This chicken, I think I paid 50 cents for and I'm asking $6. Um, I bought these little three pots with this plate for 50 cents and then I just went to Michael's and they had their Easter inventory 80% off so each of these little plants were a dollar um, and they just fit perfectly in those little vases and then for the whole thing I believe I'm charging $12 I might have actually forgotten to price that so remember to do that when I'm done this little tin I believe I paid a dollar 75 at an antique store a couple weeks ago I'm asking $5, and then for these hearth and hand set of three crockery bowls, I believe they probably retailed closer to 50, but I'm asking 35 because they're pretty scratched up. I got some of the scratches out, but I'm gonna leave some of that character in there for the next buyer to work on. So $35 for those. This little plant, I believe I paid about $2, and I'm asking eight. I love just how realistic this one looks. This was a craft I shared recently in a video. I'm asking $24. It used to be bright blue and it had the heart up here. So I covered that up with a little wreath. Um, so I really like how that turned out. 
And then this little planter I paid a dollar for. I'm asking $8. All I did to it was kind of stuff it with this um, decorative grass here. I think that looks really nice together. And then I have this green hanger here. I paid a dollar for it at a yard sale. I painted it green and now it's $9. And then I got this little crockery for $3 at an antique store, which is such a good price. It might have been $3.49 actually. And I collect these, so I don't think I've ever sold one, but I decided to go ahead and part with that one. I made these wooden spoons in a recent DIY video and added some lavender. For, so for the whole little set here, I'm asking $32. And then I'm asking $42 for this crockery. I don't remember where I got this crock. It might've been, actually, I think it was that same antique store for like a ridiculously low price. I actually think it was $12. It's all coming back to me right now. $12 for this crock filled with all of these wooden spoons. And they were blank, of course, when I bought them. And so now I split some of the spoons up, put them in these two separate crocks. And I'm asking 42 for this whole collection. And then, like I said, 32 for this one. I just love how these wooden spoons came out. They added so much character. So these are some of the Iron Orchid Design transfers here, and then these are the stamps. And if you missed that video, go back and watch my process of making all of these. And this is one of my favorite things I've done in a while. I just love how that turned out, and I love that you can display them in the crocs like these. And then the last thing today is this Roseville little crockery pot. I'm asking 22. I actually looked online, and they can go up closer to like 40 or 50. Um, but I want to make my money back a little more quickly than that. So I feel like 22 is a good medium range there. I think I paid a couple dollars for it at a yard sale recently. So that's everything. Now I just need to go find some good places for all of this in my booth. I've rearranged a little bit just the smalls and here is what I'm leaving the store with today I would just say that the biggest change I made today was just the display on the table here it's like little kids ice cream table I'm um, just trying to I kind of like to put my projects together I feel like it makes a bigger impact when you can pull similar things together into one space I didn't actually mean to leave those bowls there. I might put those somewhere else. I'm just kind of running out of room. Um, so I like how this display ended up. I did add a book underneath just to add a little bit of height and color. because I like to have things, you know, be very visually interesting, which means I need to have a lot of different layers and colors going on, but also colors that complement each other. So I liked bringing in that pop of green with all of the other like florals I have going on. So I think that looked really cute. I threw a vase down there because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I do wish I had some greenery in that vase. Um, so I'll look around my house. I didn't see anything today when I was looking, but I'm sure something will turn up that I can put in there if it doesn't sell right away. Then I put that drawer and the hanger down there for now until we have another piece of furniture that can handle it. And then I just kind of shifted around some of the stuff up here on this display. I love that globe in the back. That's something my mom brought in. Um, I think it'd look really cute in our homeschool space. I like that it's gold, but do I need to have it? No, not necessarily, but I really do like it. So I'm, I'm thinking about that one might come home with me if it doesn't sell soon. I'm just looking over here in this corner. I have some new like wall hangings that my mom brought in. And then what I really love is this little pine cabinet down here in the corner that never sells, but it's so cute. 
It reminds me of the Shire or something you would see in a Hobbit's house. Um, and I keep saying I'm going to take it. I probably should just take it because apparently it's meant for me because nobody else has grabbed it yet. I thought this light was really cool my mom brought in. It's only $15. It's kind of modern, but it has like the little like wheels here, the pulley system. It's black with like a bronze rim. Really neat. It's $10 for this little mirror here. Still have some copper pieces left. And then I did add that little floral arrangement right there in the corner. Put the bowls in there. I had to move out that coffee grinder, which is a really cool one for $48. I don't know if you guys really saw the detail of this one. I like how dark the wood is. Now see, these wall hangings are the kind of thing for me that would have sold like in a day or two. And they're just kind of hanging around. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I maybe need to rethink them because I think it's been, I mean, that wreath I did for fall. So it's probably, I mean, it's been several months at this point that they haven't sold. So maybe I need to take them home turn them just into a chalkboard. That does seem to go well for me actually, or at least it used to, it's kind of hard to say anymore. Or it could just be a price thing. I think they're around $60. So I don't know, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, obviously this one looks a little out of season now, even though I think that this fall wreath here with the pine cones is really beautiful. I don't know, it's just kind of surprising that they're still here. And then the welcome sign, I've sold so many of those, but then for whatever reason, this one's just kind of here. It is kind of high up, so we are allowed to use the booth space all the way up to the ceiling. Um, but once something goes up there, it just seems like people don't want to hassle with asking someone to get it down, and so then it just doesn't sell. So typically we don't put things up very high, and I don't know if that's why that one's not selling. It's just because it's way up there. So I might want to consider pulling that down soon. Okay, and then we still have this really cool wheelbarrow and this really amazing set of cubbies here that is priced at where is it 275 so that's a solid wood cubby set it kind of looks like metal but it's actually just wood it almost looks like copper from far away but it's such a good display piece that it's not too sad for it to not have sold yet it'd be so cool in a house though and just like a wide variety of smalls to look through here old books over there, an old scale, a few pieces of glassware, especially like candy jars. Those have been doing pretty well for us. Little crockeries, gigantic, awesome rolling pin. So lots of goodies in there. And then this little chest of drawers is $275. I shouldn't say little. It is like heavy duty. I feel like that's an East Lake design. It's solid though. I feel like this is walnut. It doesn't say on here, but... This is a solid wood piece. And then the wash stand down here I was talking about earlier is 140. I kind of like our mixture of like the enamel pieces here. 16 for this one. I love the shape of that one. And then I got this little salt and pepper shaker set. It's $14 and it looks like a little cottage, but this is the salt and the pepper. I think that's so cute. And then we added a couple of the smalls over here. So just the little planter there, the door hanger there. I really like this little cabinet with the chicken wire. It has some mason jars inside with the handles, like some drinking jars. Um, got an antique camera over there. And that is pretty much it for now. Let me know what you guys liked down in the comments. And before I leave, I'm gonna walk around the shop and just pick out what my favorite item of the day is. I don't get to look around here very much and since I'm working, I have to stay until we close. So I have a little bit of time to kill before I gotta head out of here. So I'm gonna look around the shop and try to figure out what I would say is my favorite.
Okay, I think my favorite piece right now is this dresser slash sideboard. It's um, up in the front of the store in the owner's booth and it's marked $3.79. I love the distressing on it. I like that it's green and I really like all of the new brass hardware. I just think it's a super fun piece. It's definitely eye-catching when you walk in the store, but I think it's just done really well. I love the style of it. And this is the type of piece that really inspires me to go home and paint some things. I like this pillow because it's a puppy and it's all colorful. And just to add really quick, my favorite transfers that I've used are the Malotz pages, which I used a couple videos ago. And I still love the painterly florals. This one's probably over a year old at this point. Um, I feel like it's from a couple springs ago, but I still love like the watercolored sunflowers. I think they're one of the best looking transfers that they've ever made. And then I've also really liked the little lavender sprigs too. I've used those a ton. And this is the first transfer where I think I would actually like to buy a second one so I could reuse some of those because they're so beautiful and they really transformed a lot of pieces for me that I've sold really well. But of course, there are a ton to choose from that I like a lot, but those have been my two favorite. Okay, one more honorable mention is this gnome holding a lantern. He is $81, but he is awesome. Thanks so much for watching today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.